Hey guys, it's Becca and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do just a little chit chat, get ready with me because I haven't done one of these in a really long time and also I just missed talking to you guys and just like putting on makeup. Honestly, let's be real. I miss putting on makeup because I don't go anywhere or do anything. So I figured it's about time I get myself a little more put together, presentable. And I also got some products in the mail that I have wanting to been try wanting to been try out. I've been wanting to try out. It's a brand called Alley Oop. Um, they reached out to me on Instagram actually and said, you know, we'd love to send you some products if you want to do a video. And it's weird because right as they sent that, like a couple days before I was looking at my past videos and I was looking at my makeup reviews and I was like I missed doing those videos but I didn't have any makeup to review and look at this match made in freaking heaven so they sent me three products um, they sent me stack the odds I'll go into them more when I do my makeup but they sent me stack the odds 11th hour and the multitasker 4-in-1 makeup brush and these all just look like incredible, amazing products. They're cruelty-free, paraben-free, latex-free, aluminum-free, philophilate-free. I can't say that word, but that's how you know that it's good if it's not in there. Um, they're TSA-approved. They're time-saving. So basically, so far, so good. I haven't tried them yet, but so far, they're winning me over. They also, their packaging is so cute. I'll show you. Their packaging is so cute. And then I was like, oh, no, they sent packing peanuts. But then get this. It says, does your order come with packing peanuts? They dissolve in water. Also, consider this a reminder to drink more water, which I don't do. I need to drink more water. So not only are they giving me good makeup, they're helping me look after myself. I thought that this would be a great experience to try out some of their products, try out something new, as well as put myself into better form for you all. So let's just jump into this little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, as you can see, I have this, hmm, massive pimple so but honestly I don't really get mad about having pimples anymore because of the fact that I don't go anywhere so like who's gonna see it but for your guys's sake and my own sake we're gonna cover it up I'm going to use the stay don't stray concealer um, I have loved this since literally high school but I kind of forgot about it and like strayed away <laughs> and then I decided to stay not stray wow that was a good one anyways um, I'm gonna use this just on like apparently this massive zit and then just like any other redness I have and then I'm so excited to use the 4-in-1 brush because then I don't even have to get any of my other brushes dirty I can just literally have it all here and then when we're allowed to travel again this is gonna be so great for traveling this is gonna blow your mind but anyways let's see how this stands up so I'm gonna use the little the sponge end can you see it am I a beauty guru I'm gonna use the sponge end and just like ooh, dab around okay ooh. okay this is blending flawlessly this is easier than I've ever had it blend because usually I use just like a different like concealer brush and I have to like pat at it multiple times okay literally look at this boom blended whoa and then obviously we're going to pat lightly on my giant zit because it hurts like a a lot we might have to use a couple things of concealer do that okay like slightly the redness went away but we're gonna like heavy duty it with the boing concealer and this one I like to heat up with my finger because it's a little more like putty like I didn't like that I said that but you guys know what I mean and I'm just gonna put that over it and then okay that's better right oh yeah let's let this blend it out a little bit oh my god awesome okay Go off, sis. I was not expecting this to do that because usually, hear me out, with sponges, when they're too hard, they don't do it anything. But this one is like a very good, can you guys see this? A good texture. It's like bouncy. I probably shouldn't be touching it, but like, let me do it against my head. It's like bouncy. Can you see? So it actually like gets in there and blends as opposed to like soaking up all the product, which is another thing I have with sponges. A lot of sponges just soak up product and this one, it doesn't seem like it would. It seems like it would actually just like, I mean, it, it clearly didn't. It just like bounced off my skin beautifully and here we are. 
Now I'm gonna do more of my face because we're here. We might as well. This, everybody, is called the Stack the Odds, and I got it in the shade Sunkissed because I'm a pale child. This is the packaging. Literally, look how cute it says Alley Oop. Um, it's very simple packaging, which we love. And then when you open it, it has this first color, which is like a cream blush. And then get this. I looked at this and I was like, how on earth do I open this? Because it wasn't like opening like that. And I was very confused. Are you ready for this? Did you see that? Did you show I do it again? I'll do it again. Like, are you kidding me? A little highlighter down here, a bronzer right here, and then a blush. So I'm going to use, obviously, the other side of the 4-in-1 makeup brush and do a little bit of contour. I don't really contour because my cheekbones don't exist, but I do like to make it look like I was um, kissed by the sun. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. I'm just going to put a little bit on and then just like really blend it out. Ooh. Okay, so far, I like how light it is because once again I don't really ever use um contour but I do like that instead of like carving it's just like putting a little life back into my skin now I'm gonna do some cream blush should I just use the same brush maybe I'll use my fingers I'll use my fingers don't worry I also want to feel the texture Ooh, oh baby she's soft should I give it a little swatch can you see that? It's just like really nicely like, how do I describe that? Like peachy, kind of? Oh, and I forgot to say, there's a mirror at the top. Can you guys see yourselves? There you are. Um, there's a mirror at the top and it says pretty face. That's so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna tap, 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 wrist on thinner. And then just blend, blend, blend. Oh, cute. Hang on, let me do this side. I'm really bad at applying cream blushes. My whole thing is natural. I like to look natural, but also not dead. And I feel like this makes me look natural, not dead. So now I'm going to do the highlighter, which is just this gorgeous gold. I definitely, I think, I personally think that there are people who can wear silver and people who can wear gold. There are people who can wear both, but I definitely think for me, I'm more of a gold person. Like, if you look at me, I look like I was a golden retriever in my past life, and I wear a lot of gold jewelry only really except for my earrings but just don't look so with that being said that's why I got the sun kiss palette because I feel like it's definitely more me oh my gosh this is beautiful again it's really hard not having cheekbones because you really don't know where to put things but we'll just put it here oh I just feel very glowy cute okay 10 out of 10 Love this. Next, we're going to move on to eyes now that I've woken up my face. The first thing I'm going to do is eyeshadow, and I grabbed the 11th Hour Eyeshadow Stick in the color Coffee Break for blue eyes, like golds and browns, like really bring them out, but I will swatch it for you guys. Oh, baby. Look at how creamy that is. This would be a really pretty eyeliner, too. I think it can do both. And if it doesn't, we're going to make it do both. I'm going to try it as an eyeliner first, and then we will move on to eyeshadow. Oh my god. I feel like I should zoom you in. Okay. Now you can kind of see a little bit better the brown eyeliner on my bottom lid. Or no. Whoa. I don't have a bottom lid. On my lash line, ooh, it kind of looks like mysterious. Oh, I'm a big fan. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little crazy. I'm going to put the highlighter, this color, I'm going to put it on my lids, and then on my like upper lash line, I'm going to use the stick. We're going to take apart the brush. Are we ready? <gasps> okay, and then we unscrew this side. We unscrew this side. Look at that. We've got a little eyeshadow brush and then a either brow or like top eyeliner brush. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you guys see? That really brings out my blue eyes. 
Okay. Okay. Now we're going a little rogue. We're going to take the eyeshadow stick, the 11th hour eyeshadow stick, and I'm going to take the brush, the side. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to line my upper lash line with it. Get some on my brush. And then we're going to line the upper lash line. And I'm not trying to be too exact, mainly because I'm not a makeup guru, beauty guru, makeup artist, whatever. I just want something on the upper lash line to kind of like darken it up and make it pop. Pretty. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly put on mascara. I'll fast forward this for you. Amazing. And that is the look. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like I I have been a little like down recently on like my appearance and just let's get real here. Just like how I look cuz I don't think I I put that much effort into like getting ready, so I just feel very slobby, you know, throughout the week. Um and this has really like given me a confidence boost. Like this makeup, I just feel so pretty. <laughs> And it was so easy to apply and I mean this is gonna become my new favorite tool like I'm literally gonna take this everywhere with me This is incredible this ladies and gentlemen Everyone needs this in their life. I wouldn't talk about it if I didn't love it like guys if I did not like this You know, I would never say I love it. I promise like no I am so weird when it comes to makeup. I only like certain stuff. I'm not even that big and like brands like you know me and this was all very affordable too, so I'm definitely going on. I'm going to use my own coupon code because I... Oh, I have a coupon code. You guys know that I want to hook you up with the best stuff. My coupon code is FORTUNE10. You guys have to try this out, and it's such good quality. So go on their website, use the code FORTUNE10 for 10% off, and you guys will not regret it. I am definitely going to go and purchase everything else they have. Oh, oh my gosh. I can sharpen... <gasps> <gasps> guys, it comes with its own built-in sharpener. I'm sorry, we are experiencing things together. Like, look, and then you pull this off, and then you sharpen it. Okay, I'm sold. As if I wasn't sold before, I am sold now, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. alley -oop, 10 out of 10. Use code FORTUNE10 for 10% off. Everything is linked down below, all the products I got. Um, where exactly you can use my coupon code, what the coupon code is, it's all down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm going to become more of a beauty guru. Stay tuned. I don't know. If there's any other brands you guys want me to review, please let me know. I would love to. And yes, please remember to subscribe if you're new here. I post videos every Saturday. I try to. Stay tuned. They might come in the middle of the week. Who knows? But yeah, I love you guys. Please subscribe to my podcast. It's linked down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of the social media platforms. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you.